take you now to New Jersey, where a press conference is underway on this major corruption case that involves apparently some pretty strange things, money laundering and perhaps trafficking in human organs. Let's take a listen. Um, Assistant U.S. Attorney Sandra Moser and Assistant U.S. Attorney Maureen Knackley. Um, today, we're here to announce the takedown of a large-scale, dual-tracked investigation. On the public corruption side, uh, the FBI and the IRS have arrested and noticed for arrest 29 individuals, including assemblymen and mayors, underscoring more than ever the pervasive nature of public corruption in this state. On the other side, the FBI and IRS have arrested and summoned 15 members of connected international money laundering rings, including five rabbis and their associates. As outlined in the complaints, these rings, led by clergymen, cloak their extensive criminal activity behind a facade of rectitude. Let me give you a few more details and then uh, SAC Wason Dunn and ASAC Ed Caro will talk a little more about the investigation, and uh, SAC Julio La Rosa will have a few remarks. Um, arrested today, uh, I'm just going to be a couple of my highlights. Daniel Van Pelt, a, a state assemblyman from Ocean County. Harvey Smith has, uh, has to be summoned because he is out of state. He is also an assemblyman from Hudson County. His warrant is unsealed at this time. Some of his noteworthy statements as set forth in the complaint include the following. At one point, when the CW referred to a $5,000 payoff and said he was generous to Smith, Smith's response was, according to your standards, you're generous. At another point, he told the CW to stop talking about money. He said, I feel like I should pat you down. Uh, the next person I'll mention is Peter Camerano III, mayor of Hoboken. I think he's been in office about three weeks. As set forth in the complaint, some of Mr. Camerano's noteworthy statements include uh, at, on May 19th at the Malibu Diner, talking about the runoff election in Hoboken. He said, I could be indicted and still get 85 to 95 percent of the vote. Later in that conversation, he told the CW, the cooperating witness, I'm sorry, the CW, he broke the world down into three. People with us, you guys, people who climbed on board in the runoff, they have to get in line. And people who were against us the whole way, they get ground into powder. On June 23rd, when the CW offered $10,000, Mr. Camerano says, great. And we're going to be friends for a long time. The next person I want to mention is Dennis Elwell, the mayor of Secaucus. Uh, the next one is Anthony Suarez, mayor of Ridgefield Borough. Leona Beldini, deputy mayor of Jersey City. Lou Manzo, former assemblyman and candidate for Jersey City mayor. According to the complaints, Lou Manzo's brother Ron also charged today coached the CW so that when the CW said, I'm investing in Lou Manzo in exchange for development approvals, Manzo told him not to, not to use the word approvals, but rather to use the word, the code word, opportunities. Uh, there are a host of other officials and middlemen also uh, arrested today. It was the network of middlemen, including John Guarini, Meyer Khalil, Ron Manzo, Jack Shaw, and Ed Cheatham, who introduced the FBI CW to the public officials as a developer and businessman. I don't, inv I don't donate, I invest, the CW would say in meetings, in parking lots, at restaurants, luncheonettes, diners, offices, basement boiler rooms, and bathrooms. And the politicians willingly put themselves up for sale, hundreds of thousands, in bribes were paid in those places. The complaints show that for these defendants, corruption was a way of life. They existed in an ethics-free zone, and they exploited giant loopholes in the state's campaign contribution rules. Our CW routinely had his proposed projects move to the top of some official's pile because he paid off. With so many profiting off a corrupt system, is it any wonder that few want to change the system? Once again, the victims are the average citizens and the honest business people in this state. 
they don't have a chance in this culture of corruption. On the money laundering side, these complaints paint a disgraceful picture of religious leaders heading money laundering crews acting as crime bosses. They use purported charities, entities supposedly set up to do good works as vehicles for laundering millions of dollars in illicit funds. The rings were international in scope, connected to Deal, New Jersey, Brooklyn, New York, Israel, and Switzerland. And they trafficked in cleaning and, and the di of dirty money all across the world. We have three charts illustrating the flow of cash and checks. Uh, I was hoping to use the screen, but the screen's blocked, so we're handing those out. Don't worry about that. Um, in about two years, these defendants laundered over $3 million just with our CW alone. I must also mention, connected to the money laundering, we have one uh, defendant, Mr. Rosenbaum, who we refer to as our kidney salesman. As set forth in the complaint, his business was to entice vulnerable people to give up a kidney for $10,000 which he, in turn, would, would turn around and sell for $160,000. At this point, I'd like to turn uh, the podium over to uh, Special Agent in Charge, Wayson Dunn. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Mara. Oh. Over here. Go ahead. I would like to start by, first of all, acknowledging a number of people in my office who have worked very, very hard over a significant period of time on this investigation. The case agents are Bill Waldy, Don Russ and Sean McCarthy. The case was supervised by uh, Daniel McKenna and Michael Costanzi, and then Ed Kerrer, who you're going to hear about, uh, f hear from in a few moments, uh, was the executive uh, on my staff that had direct oversight of this case. So my congratulations to them. I also want to thank our partners at the U.S. Attorney's Office and the IRS Criminal Investigative Division. The arrests that Mr. Mara just announced are truly unprecedented. They are unprecedented because of the combination of the number and prominence of the individuals involved, the dispersal of the alleged criminal activity throughout the state, and the broad variety of crimes which have been charged. Starting at uh, 6 a.m. this morning, more than 300 agents of the FBI and the IRS CID fanned out through the state of New Jersey and into the greater metropolitan New York area to execute search and arrest warrants at 54 different locations. As Mr. Mara indicated, the people that we have arrested today include mayors, deputy mayors, New Jersey state assemblymen, city councilmen, city council candidates, and a variety of other public officials ranging from commissioners to regulatory inspectors, and of course, a number of rabbis from the Jewish community. The list of people we arrested sounds like it should be the roster for a meeting of community leaders. But sadly, they weren't meeting in a boardroom this morning. They were in the FBI booking room. The people we arrested came from Ocean County, Hudson County, Union County, and Bergen County. The search warrants we executed today included search warrants on the offices and the residence of Joseph V. Doria, Jr., the New Jersey uh, <coughs> Commissioner of the Division of Community Affairs and also Chairman of the New Jersey Meadowlands Commission.